Our community and the CVB are incredibly blessed with leadership throughout our entire community that not only support tourism and highly encourage it, but also fully support the mission of the CVB. At this time, I would like to welcome our City of Summersville Mayor, Robert Schaefer, to the podium. The City of Summersville extends a warm and hearty welcome to each of you. Whether you are a first time or frequent visitor, we are thrilled to welcome you to our little piece of paradise. Our city proudly boasts the magnificent backdrop of beautiful mountains, the lure of Summersville Lake, which is the state's largest lake and newest addition to the state park system, Summersville Lake State Park. In the midst of this natural splendor, we wholeheartedly invite you to indulge in the marvels of our great outdoors, offering adventure, history, and relaxation. Experience Summersville, now is the time. Good afternoon. I want to give a special welcome to our guest today, and that would be how exciting it is for us to so celebrate tourism, which is vitally important and actually the backbone to our local economy, with students from grade school, middle school, and high school. We also want to welcome in a big way their teachers and, of course, family members that came with them as well. So a special welcome to all of you. I'd also like to highlight with us today, we've got some city council representation, our city recorder, the city attorney, and of course, we're also blessed to have the county commission with us. Um, I want to thank, in a really big way, all of our tourism partners, many of which are not here with us today. Um, but especially, I would like to highlight the Summersville CVB, all they do, their executive director, Tracy. Tracy, I can't thank you for the work you do not just in promoting tourism, but being active and involved in our community. And that's toppled with the excellent board of directors that she gets to work with, and we're happy to have Elizabeth Dix here with us today, one of her board members. You know, as a city, we are so thankful and grateful for where we are. Not only for many, 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 many years have we been a great place to visit, but now we're extremely excited and proud to be the gateway to, to the new national park, New River Gorge National Park, and the home to the newest West Virginia State Park, Summersville Lake State Park. So let this be a day of celebration for tourism. We're excited to celebrate with all of you. And at this time, I'm gonna turn it over because I didn't prepare a long speech today because we've got one coming. So thank you all for being here. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mayor Schaefer. At this time, I'm going to introduce our keynote speaker, Mary Ann Taylor. For those of you who do not know, Mary Ann spent many years successfully directing the Summersville CVB, helping grow the tourism industry in our community to what it is today. She then went on to also direct the Summersville Arena and Conference Center simultaneously. As both organizations rapidly grew, Mary Ann went on to exclusively direct the Arena and Conference Center. Currently, Marianne is doing an incredible job fulfilling the position as executive assistant to the city of Summersville Mayor Robert Schaefer. She continues to fill a large role in the continued growth of tourism and our community. Please join me in welcoming Marianne Taylor to the podium. Good afternoon. Nothing like following your boss, <laughs> who always does an awesome job. Um, thank you, Tracy, for inviting me to be here today. Um, I, as the mayor, thanked. I also would like to thank all of the teachers, the students, the principals, the parents, all of you for teaching and encouraging your children 
to learn about tourism. When we think about tourism, we think about leisure, we think about exploration. We really don't think much about how it impacts a community. But tourism is not merely about visiting new places. It's also about the exchange of cultures, ideas, and experiences. It's forging connections and enriching the lives of both travelers and the local people. Tourism partners, as the mayor already spoke a little bit about, but tourism partners play a pivotal role in shaping a visitor's experience. Partners encompass a diverse array of stakeholders, including lodging, restaurants, attractions, and many local businesses. Our tourism industry is also very fortunate to have strong partnerships with the mayor and the city of Somersville and our county commissioners. Together, all these partners collaborate to showcase the unique attractions, the beautiful landscapes, the history, and the culture of our area, which we just saw a lot of that on that video. In our small community, tourism breathes life into economy. It creates jobs, it sustains business. Visitors come to the greater Somersville area with a thirst for knowledge, curiosity, and they want to understand our way of life. And in turn, we can showcase our traditions, our festivals, our values, our treasures, which all make the greater Somersville area, a destination that is worth exploring. Now, you know what? Tourism is also about having a whole lot of fun because people come and they visit, they stay in hotels, they eat in our restaurants, they shop, they enjoy all of our outdoor activities. So the next time you see a tourist taking pictures or trying out local food, remember that they are also helping our community to grow. Now, I also know that sometimes everybody gets upset because it gets a little crowded when lots of people come to visit us. But that's okay because it's all part of the fun. And besides, when we welcome tourists with our open arms, we are showing them just how awesome our community really is. Sometimes though, we forget what we have right in our own backyard. You know, we have plenty of outdoor adventure. We have beautiful mountains and scenery. We have history, we have hiking and biking trails. We have a lighthouse. We have the state's largest lake. We have festivals. We have lodging, we have restaurants, we have shopping, and there's many, many more. We are also the home of the newest addition to the state park system, Somersville Lake State Park, and we are the gateway to the New River Gorge Bridge and the New River Gorge National Park and Reserve. So I'm gonna change it up just a little bit right now because I just talked a little bit about tourism. So I kind of want to get your thoughts on tourism. So I'm going to ask a question, and there's really no right or wrong answer. And I have some treats. So my question is, if you had a friend that was visiting from out of town, what is your favorite spot that you would want them to visit? Remember, there's no right or wrong answers. So I'm going to ask the elementary students first. I'm going to try to, if I remember correctly, how to take the microphone off <clears throat> so we can hear their answers. So where's the elementary students? Do we have some? We do. So think real hard, okay? And let's just say you had a friend who came to visit you. So where would be your favorite place to take them? Let's start here. Tell us your name and what your favorite place would be. Um, I'm Farron and probably the lake. The lake. So the lake would be her favorite spot. How about you? 
My name is Dakota, and I would take them to Walmart. <laughs> to Walmart, okay. Hey, that helps grow our economy too, right? All right, so let me give you guys a little treat. There you go. You're very welcome. Okay, any more elementary students? How about middle school? Do we have any middle school students? Okay, it's the same question. Again, no right or wrong answer. If your friend came to visit, tell us where you might take them. We'll start here. Tell us your name and where it is. I'm Cora Buckner, and I would take them to Carnifax Ferry. So Cora would go to Carnifax Ferry. History, we have great history here in Somersville. And this is for you. And I think I have some more middle school students over here. All right, how about you? Uh, I'm Susan and I'd take them to the lake. To the lake. I mean, the lake has to be popular, right? It's the state's largest lake. <laughs> this is for you. Do I have any other middle school students? One more. Okay. My name is Gracie, and I would take them to Carnifax Ferry. And Carnifax Ferry, another history buff here. That's good. This is for you. How about high school students? Do we have any high school students? We do have a few. Again, same question. What's your favorite spot? <laughs> Who wants to go first? All right, okay. you're up, it's you. Um, my name is Mason, and I'd probably take him to Long Point. Oh. Mason would take him to Long Point. That's another good and amazing place. That's for you. And high school, right? Yeah. All right. I'm a scholar, and I'd take him to the brewery. Uh, to the brewery. <laughs> oh, to GDB, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Good place to eat, good place to relax. And that's for you. Okay, now, we did all the kids, adults, we're gonna see what you have to say. Who wants to answer the question? If you had a visitor, where would you take them? What would be your favorite spot? Anybody here wanna try it? Okay. Um, I'm Esther, and I would take them to the lighthouse. To the lighthouse, which how amazing is it that we are a mountainous state and we have a lighthouse? How about over here? Anyone here want to answer? Any adults? All of our adults are shy. None of our children were. Okay. I take them to. My name's Jenny Foreman. I take them to the vault on Main. Okay, Jenny would take them to the vault on Main, a great place to go and eat. Anybody on this table want to give it a try? Yep, we got some people. I think you just want my candy, but that's good. Okay. I, I don't need the candy. Uh, I'm Derek Gilman. Uh, I'm taking Fat Eddie's. Fat Eddie's. I was waiting for that to come up. I really thought the kids were going to say that, but okay, great. Fat Eddie's. A big staple, and you can still have the candy. Anyone else? Denise McGraw, and I was going to say Fat Eddie's, but he stole it. But... <laughs> I would go out to the Mountain Lake Campground. Okay, Mountain Lake Campground. Now, you know, something about Mountain Lake Campground is um, you can get a day pass there and enjoy the golf and activities that they have there. Yep. Anyone else here? Okay, we got another one. Okay. Um, my name is Heather Shiflett, and I would take them either out on a trail I usually go out um, salmon run or we go kayaking. Right, great activities, great outdoor adventure. So is that your favorite trail? Yes. Okay. Yes. Good. <laughs> Just yes. Yeah. You're giving her the candy, okay. <laughs> That's okay. All right, let's see. Anybody else, any more adults? Here we go. We have much more amazing places to hear about. Okay. My name's Ariel. I would take them to Lockeretta. 
Lock It's a staple in It is. <laughs> She's absolutely right. It is a staple in Summersville. Thank you. I got a good one. You have a good one, okay. My name is Steve, and I would take him to the marina. To the, the marina. marina. Yeah. Yep, another good place. Go visit Sarge at the marina. Hey, you might even want to try um, scuba diving, right? I believe my son, many years ago, came here and got certified in scuba diving. I don't think he can scuba dive today, but he did many years ago. <laughs> How about any council people sure. or wives or? <laughs> okay. I'm Melissa, and I would take them to the pavilion for the summer music. I love that because I'm one of the chairs for the music at the pavilion. <laughs> And that's going to start, actually, with our kids' kickoff on June 7th, and then it'll be every Friday through August 9th. We have a great lineup of entertainment. It's all free. Bring your lawn chair. We also have free food, so it's really a great time. And, you know, I, I, I remember last year, um, gosh, there were two or three nights when we had visitors that came from out of state from other places that we got to meet that uh, came to enjoy it with us. Anybody else at this table? Sure. All right. I would take them to Brown Oaks at Christmas time, the pavilion downtown, and let's see if I had another one there too. <laughs> the lighthouse, of which I've lived here for a long time and I've never been. <laughs> <laughs> it's never been. You <laughs> hey, well, I'm not surprised that Councilman Halstead has talked about Brown Oaks because we all know he plays a huge part. In, in decorating that, that beautiful house at Christmas time. And he takes a, a big part in a lot of the things that happen at Brown Oaks. But we also like music at the pavilion and we also like the lighthouse. <laughs> so all good ones. Anybody else? How about this table, anybody? We're all talked out. All right, all right you got one? Hey, this guy is about to have a child, so we'll see where he's gonna go. <laughs> I'd take him to the Nicholas County Fair. <laughs> There you go. There we go. And that's a good place to take kids, right? Almost perfect place. Years old. Yep, almost 100 years old and a perfect place for kids and parents, a great family location. And I'd also remember to take them to the Nicholas County Potato Festival and the Wine Fest. We have great festivals in this area. So, all amazing answers which show and all the amazing things that we have here. And I have one more an uh, question. And it's actually, you got to have the right answer for this one. Where's the Summersville Visitor Center located? Raise your hand if you know the answer to that. Where's the Visitor Center located? Well, it's located right here in this building. Tracy's office is here in this building. Um, and I encourage all of you that if you need, ever need any information or have any questions about tourism, to reach out to Tracy because she is a great leader for tourism in our area. So don't forget, right here. So when your friends come to visit, bring them up to the visitor center so you can get some information. And so in conclusion, I challenge each of you to know and enjoy what you have in your own backyard. And listen, we just heard about so many wonderful things that we have and we also saw in the video um, be willing to share all of those things with those who come to visit because they are making us their destination. They are helping to grow our economy and they are strengthening our community. So whether it's saying hello to someone from a faraway place or showing them the best spots in town, let's all be ambassadors for our community. <coughs> Because when we share the love that we have for where we live, everyone is a winner. So I want to thank you. Um, and I also want to say congratulations to all the winners that are here with us today. Thank you again for having me. Thank you very much, Marianne. 
At this time, before we move on to the highly anticipated awards portion of our afternoon, um, there's just something that I wanted to do quickly. Um, I'm truly honored to be here today um, to also express my heartfelt appreciation for Marian Taylor. As a mentor and role model who has profoundly inf influenced my career and my life, her unwavering guidance, wisdom, patience, and support have been instrumental in shaping my personal and professional journey. Her dedication, her integrity, and her passion for excellence serve as a beacon of inspiration for all who have had the privilege of knowing her. Marianne, your impact knows no bounds, and I'm endlessly grateful for your continued mentorship. On behalf of the Summersville CVB and everything you have done over the years for the CVB, for our community, and also for myself, we'd like to present you a small token for our appreciation. And we have a gift for you over here. <coughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fine. Leave it here. Okay. Thank you so much. <laughs> and there's a little card attached. Oh. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I appreciate everyone. Thank you. All the years that um, I served here, um, I couldn't have done it without the support of the council, the mayor, the county commissioners, and all the people. Thank you so much for everything. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So at this time, we will begin the awards presentation. I'm going to ask CVB board member Elizabeth Dix if she would come up and join me. So the elementary students were invited to participate in the art contest. Middle school students were um, invited to participate in an essay contest and high school students in an ad design contest, all showing why and how the tourism industry is an asset to the greater Somersville area. The city of Somersville extends a warm and hearty welcome to Thank you, Mayor Schaefer. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> As we honor the recipients of these awards, let us not only recognize their individual accomplishments, but also celebrate the collective spirit of collaboration and innovation that propels our community forward. Each student being recognized today represents the future ambassadors, leaders, and tourism industry experts of our community and beyond. We extend our deepest gratitude to the teachers and the school faculty and parents that play an, an integral role in nurturing these students. Your guidance and encouragement will be instrumental in shaping the next generation of our community. Together, let us continue to champion the spirit of tourism and hospitality that makes the greater Somersville area a truly special place to live, work, and visit. So at this time, we're going to announce our winners. So for the elementary art um, contest winners, we'll announce first through third. And at this point, what we're going to do, you're more than welcome to take pictures up here as they are given their awards. But what we'd like to do before everyone rushes off, we know people have to get back to work and to school. We'd like to encourage everyone to stop by the foyer. We have a nice photo prop area out there that we want to take pictures of the winners and we can take it with um, parents, teachers, and school faculty. So. Um, for the elementary art class, first place winner is Dakota Jarvis in fifth grade and teacher Ms. Hoover. Congratulations. And Dakota, do you want to show us which piece of art was yours? Do you recognize it? This one. Yeah. So Dakota is, um, drew a beautiful picture of Summersville Lake. And is that Long Point or the beach? It was his actual picture of the rock. And then Very the nice. And then the trees. And the trees. <laughs> beautiful. And on it, in case you can't see it, it says, tourism is important to Summersville because more money and jobs. Plus, it gives us more fame and puts us on the map. And that's all very, very important things. Thank you very, very much, Dakota. Thank you. In second place was Farron Sarver of fifth grade with Miss Hoover. 
Congratulations. Okay. Theron, would you like to show us yours? Very nice. And Theron's artwork, and again, is that the lake? Mm -hmm. Long Point? Very nice. It says, why is tourism important to Somersville? It helps with money, more jobs, and popularity. Very true. Very nice. Thank you. And third place in the elementary art contest, congratulations, goes to Maverick Cater in fifth grade and Miss Hoover. Congratulations. Okay. Okay. So next, we'll be moving on to the middle school essay contest. And I'm telling you, judging these contests are very, very tough. First place goes to Cora Buckner in seventh grade. And Cora, would you be willing to read your essay for us? Sure. <laughs> you want me to hold your things for you? you got yeah, I'll hold it for you. Sorry. What does tourism mean for Nicholas County? First, we should look at what the word tourism means. Tourism, the commercial organization and operation of occasions and visits to places of interest. Tourism is the action of visiting and learning about an area. Spending time within a place and spending money, and taking part in activities while there. <clears throat> Nicholas County is a neat place with several unique things going for it, which plays a huge role in our tourism and communities. When a person goes on vacation, they make a plan of things they want to do while there. It's no different here, either. However, people come here for whitewater rafting, our beautiful lakes and rivers, camping, hiking, festivals, and so much more. What does all that mean for Nicholas County? All that money that is spent here helps support our entire area. Small businesses, car sales and repairs, local restaurants, gas stations, and more depend on people stopping by or staying here for a week or two by having a reason to visit our area. We are creating jobs and helping families stay in West Virginia. Taxes are another aspect of tourism. The money generated from taxes helps fund police departments, fire and EMS, schools and more. When the weather is nice, the lake is booming. That means big sales for food, gas, lodging, camping, and taking part in experiences. When it's cold and snowy, our ski areas take a turn in getting so much needed attention. That money helps provide paychecks to local families, which is then spent locally to further support our community. Grocery stores, shops, and other types of businesses depend on a steady source of re revenue to make it. Tourism plays a big part in our success as a county. In 2022, our state generated $754 million in tax revenue, and over 44,000 jobs were supported by tourism. All that combined resulted in a $4.9 billion in travel spend traveler spending. Nichols County is a mountain in the Mountain Lakes area, which is one of the nine travel regions our state is divided into, according to the 2022 annual report by Dan Runyon, Dean Runyon Associates. Nicholas County holds over 400 jobs in the tourism industry and has generated $163.5 billion dollars, million dollars in travel spending. It's a great addition to our local economy. All that revenue boosts sales in the end, helps for families make a living here in West Virginia. Tourism more than just visiting, it's advertising too. Years ago, before the use of social media and the internet, our state has, was, only seen, was only being seen by a certain group of travelers with the powerful tools of media, our state has now has now a much broader reach. Our, our new markets are being targeted and it's paying off. Millions are getting invested in advertising and hundreds of local businesses are taking advantage <coughs> of the corporate ad advertising opportunities. In closing, tourism is a huge aspect of West Virginia and Nicholas County. And how many times have you been in another state and someone asks where you're from and you tell them? 
immediately associate with you with Somerville Lake or New River Gorge Bridge. Our state is making a name for itself and it's all positive. My family takes advantage of our beautiful area too. We support and visit state parks and attend festivals and fairs every year. We know that money spent here helps us all. The next time you eat out, look around. Think about how many jobs depend on your business and how many families are making a living just by the simple act of eating a meal. Taking a moment to break down the trail of money and you'll understand that every part of life can benefit from the millions of, do the millions of dollars <coughs> that millions of tourists spend when they pass through our ca county daily. Congratulations. Thank you again. Um, briefly, before we move on to the second place, I did want to say, and I skipped over, and I'm so sorry, um, the third piece of the elementary art um, that Maverick had done, um, it says, again, is a picture of the lake, and it looks to be Long Point, and I thought this was another great one as well. It says, tourism allows people to have jobs, okay. having a better local economy, helps conserve the natural environment and so much more. And that is an extremely important of our local tourism is sustainable tourism and taking care of the wonderful things that we have here that does attract tourism, especially like the lake and things like that. So I thought that was um, really important and wanted to share his artwork as well. So moving on to our second place middle school essay winner is Gracie Shiflett in eighth grade. Gracie, come on up. Would you mind to share your essay with us? Do you want me to hold your stuff for you? Hang on. Just get it open. Your essay's right here, sweetie. Okay. Would you like to share it? Yes. Okay. Um, why tourism is essential to the greater Somersville area? Throwing perfectly rounded rocks across the river, climbing up the tallest tree around, feeling miserably pitchetent, Four-wheeler riding on the back roads, running down Patterson Trail, trying to find the, trying to beat the rest of the family. Sitting around the campfire with no electronics in sight, sitting on the slightly damp grass, licking a giant, a giant cone from Fat Eddie's, hanging on for dear life when the boat is whipping the tube through the waves, canoeing to find a private place for a picnic, and spending time with the ones that you love or some of the reasons why people travel to and visit the community of Somersville. Recently, Somersville Lake has become a national park due to it being the, largic, the largest lake in West Virginia and having, only lighthouse, having the only lighthouse in the entire state. All these facts along, along with the adventures that are offered in this beautiful area make up a stunning combination that is bound to catch the attention of a newcomer. Catching the attention of a traveler and the traveler vacationing to a certain point is referred to as tourism. Most of our parents have made the choice to live here because of the community and the views surrounding. No doubt about it though, we need tourism. Tourism has been proven time and time again to boost the economy, reduce homelessness, and help local businesses thrive. Bringing tourism to Somersville would help those local businesses grow, especially during summer months. Tourism has given rise to many teens receiving summer jobs, such as working down by the lake, working as a campground worker, or even working at a restaurant like Fat Eddie's. Either way, for everyone, tourism offers jobs, generates money, and introduces people to see the beautiful sights in our hometown. Without tourism, Somersville would not have the best economic standpoint. Many businesses would not be making as good of money. People who are not familiar with Somersville would never know that it exist, existed unless it was from the media or a recounting of a friend. In conclusion, tourism is a necessity to make Somersville have a good economy and improve other factors. 
Tourism supports small and medium-sized businesses and creates new businesses and jobs in the summer. Tourism also helps both locals and tourists to see West Virginia what it, for what it truly is, a wild and wonderful state. Great job. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for sharing that with us. That was excellent. And last but not least, in third place is Susan Gilman of eighth grade. Is Susan here? Would you be willing to share your essay with us, Susan? You want me to read it? Only if you stand up here with me. Is that good? Is that a deal? Okay. Tourism plays a key role in the area of Summersville. Why is it so important? Summersville is a rural area, so tourists boost the economy in multiple ways. Rural tourism is becoming more popular as people want to get away from the bustling cities. Summersville has magnificent views, many forested areas, and much more. As more tourists come to Summersville, the number of benefits increases. Tourism helps employment and produces jobs for more people. Jobs are in short supply, and many pay only just enough to get by. Tourism helps immensely with that problem. It creates several types of jobs, including hospitality, transportation, entertainment, food and beverages, and many more. Tourism supports local businesses that are special to this community. It also helps with income. With prices rising, the need for money in rural communities is also rising. As more tourists visit the town of Summersville, employment and pay gets better for the many people who live here. Tourism is essential in preserving the natural environment. It encourages conservation. Nature-based tourism is extremely popular. Summersville is best known for Summersville Lake, and tourism can help with more motivation to keep our area clean. It raises awareness for endangered species, protecting nature and animal habitats and littering in the environment. Tourism is greatly beneficial to the natural environment. It also preserves the cultures and the way people do certain things in a community. This makes tourism an even more significant role for the people of Summersville. Tourism helps to revitalize local customs and art forms. It promotes and commercializes cultures and art. Tourism also brings people from various places together. It can make a community stronger and bring people together. These are the reasons why tourism is important to the area. As tourism grows, the benefits of it also grow and becomes a key role in the town of Summersville. Wonderful job, Susan. Congratulations. Okay, so now we're going to move into the high school ad contest portion of our awards. So in first place, I'd like to invite Mason Crowder from 10th grade on up, if Mason is here. Congratulations, Mason. Mason, would you like to share with us a little bit about your ad? Um, over 1 million uh, tourists visit Summersville a year. Tourists spend, like last year, I think it was, we made $8 billion from tourists, which is quite a bit of money. A lot of money, right? Yeah. Wonderful artwork. Thank you very much, Mason. Thank you. In second place, we had Skylar Murphy, also of 10th grade. Skylar, would you like to share a few words? There's so many words. Um, <laughs> one thing I did put, summer's approaching, you know what that means, tourists, and what's a better vacation spot than the Happy Hills of West Virginia? And it shows all of the tourism spots and it describes them. Yes, so there is, I see Long Point on there, and I see Carnifex Ferry, and I see this new state park, and then the beach, the beach area, fantastic, beautiful. Great job. 
Okay, and last but not least, in third place, we have Braden Purdue of 11th grade. Is Braden with us here today? He had an appointment. That is okay. No problem. We understand. Um, and Braden had also a beautiful piece with Carnifax Ferry. Um, so I do encourage, I know it's a little bit difficult to see from the back back there, but um, we encourage everyone to come up and take a look at the artwork. Um, they all did a tremendous job. I'm very proud of each and every one of these students. Um, Again, we don't want you to rush off. We hope that you will stop out in the foyer so that way we can grab your pictures along with your parents or your teacher, um, faculty, whoever you would like. Um, maybe some of our um, local celebrities. We have our mayor and we have our county commission. We may have some other people if you'd like to ask them to um, be in a picture with you as well. But we do want to thank you. We thank you immensely for taking your time, um, for being here today, again, for um, pouring into the students, and then also for your support of tourism and continued growth in our community. We appreciate each and every one of you and we look forward to next year. Thank you very much.